Hi guys! On the previous tips and tricks for the Bamboo Lab Printers video, we talked about the filament backup feature. In this video, we will explain how you can use the dry filament option on your X1 series, so stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, having an enclosed 3D printer allows us to easily print with filaments that require a certain cabinet temperature. However, the X1 and X1 Carbon have a few tricks up their sleeves and which take the advantage of their closed enclosure. The one we will show today is the dry filament option. With this option, you can use your 3D printer to dry the filament before using it, and this way prevent quality issues caused by humidity absorption from the filament. The way it works is very simple. The printer will turn on the bed temperature and keep it on for a certain period of time and since it's a closed environment, it will help to reduce the amount of humidity inside, including the humidity absorbed by the filament. And here's how you do it. First, make sure your print bed has nothing on it, and that means prints or filament remains. Also, make sure your nozzle is clean. Then, go to your printer's display and enter the second tab, then Utilities, and select Dry Filament. The printer will then show the instructions on the screen. In there, there are a few options you can choose. One is the type of filament you want to dry. Depending on the filament type, the temperature and duration for the dry process is different. For this example, let's choose PLA. The machine is indicating 70 degrees C and 12 hours to dry it. The temperature can be changed here, and the time can be changed as well. Let's change it to 10 hours. At the bottom, we see the prepare button, so when ready, we click on it. The first thing the printer will do is raise the bed to do the homing of the Z-axis. This is to make sure that the printer knows the height of the bed. Once that is done, the bed will then go down and you can confirm on the display. We can now place the filament we want to dry on the bed. On the wiki page, they suggest to cover the filament spool either with a printed cover or a filament cardboard box. The file to print the cover is available on the wiki page. And if you decide to print this, make sure you use filament that can withstand the temperatures being used in the dry process which in some cases can reach 90 degrees C. We have this small humidity reader and it's currently measuring 69% of relative humidity. Let's put this inside with the filament spool and see what will happen. Close the printer's door and hit start. The process can be stopped at any time, so if you want to stop it, just hit cancel. At this moment, the filament is in there drying for one hour, and the humidity reader is already measuring 22%. It will take a few more hours until it's done. It's also recommended to flip the spool sometime during the dry process. Be careful when doing this so you don't harm yourself due to the high temperatures. One last note is regarding the spool itself. Since this drying process requires the bed to be at a certain temperature, there is a possibility that some spool brands may deform, so you need to keep an eye on them the first time you use this. And that's it! Hope you guys liked the video! Stay tuned for more tips and tricks video very soon. Bye!